Let us begin with a prayer. Loving and gracious God, thank you for giving us this time to gather together to celebrate the magic of Christmas and the joy of the birth of the Christ child. Help us to worship you this morning with all of our hearts, souls, and minds as we hear once again this story told in a new way. And we pray this in Jesus' name. And let us start with our first hymn, O Come All Ye Faithful. mentioned in the story, I want you to lift it up and show it to us. And there will be lots of opportunities for everyone to interact with this story. And if you're watching us at home on Facebook, make sure you participate too. So here we go. A is for angel. So who has the angel? There we go. A night in the balcony, very appropriate place for the angel. <laughs> the angel Gabriel began the story by telling Mary, good morning. You're beautiful with God's beauty. Beautiful inside and out. God be with you. Mary, you have nothing to fear. God has a surprise for you. You will become pregnant and give birth to a son and call his name Jesus. B is for Bethlehem. 
This is where our story takes place. People traveled from far and wide to get to Bethlehem, which was not a very big village. It was, however, very busy when this story took place because of our next word, which is C is for census. Now, a census is an official counting of all people. So can you imagine trying to count all the people, even just in Monmouth? That would be a big task, right? The census is the reason so many people came to Bethlehem. Now, D is for donkey. Does anyone have the donkey? No donkey? I know Liz Liz has a big one up there. (laughs) You can't see it on camera, but there's a big, giant donkey made out of cardboard. (laughs) A donkey carried the family, Mary and Joseph, on their long journey. Now, what kind of sound does a donkey make? So, Mary and Joseph had to travel a long way on this donkey to get to Bethlehem. They traveled along the Jordan River, and it was a journey of over a hundred miles. Can you imagine making that journey? That's a long journey in a car, but it's a really long journey on a donkey. So, when they arrived, we get to our next letter, which is E for exhausted. Exhausted means you are really, really tired. Now, what kind of sounds or faces do you make when you're really tired? (sighs) They were really tired when they got there. And that's how they must have felt when they arrived, right? That that really tired, ready to go to sleep. Because it would have taken... Now, remember, one of them got to ride on the donkey, but one of them had to walk. And so it would have taken them about 36 hours to get to Bethlehem. That's three days in a row of doing nothing but walking. That's a long journey. And now we're going to have our next piece of music, which is See Him Lying in a Bed of Straw. As well as the, um, the singing, there's a bit of audience participation in this one. Um, the word cha-cha-cha. <laughs> <laughs> With a clap or a stamp Ooh, at the right. end of every verse and every chorus. Will really help move this along. So All right. <laughs> see him lying on a bed of straw. <laughs>
our next letter is F, and F is for family. Mary and Joseph and their new baby Jesus created a new family, one that would bless the whole world. Oh, and we have Mary and Joseph and the baby back there. (laughs) All right. (laughs) And this uh, is from Luke chapter 2 from the message version. While they were there, the time came for Mary to give birth. She gave birth to a son, her firstborn. She wrapped him in a blanket and laid him in a manger, because there was no room in the inn. So next we have the letter G. G is for good news. This good news came from God and is about to be shared with all the earth. And so this is where the angels said, There were shepherds camping in the neighborhood. They had set night watches over their sheep. Do we have any sheep? Oh, here we go. we got some sheep up there. (laughs) And we have the shepherds back there. (laughs) Suddenly, God's angel stood among them, (laughs) and God's glory blazed around them. They were terrified. The angel said, don't be afraid. I'm here to announce a great and joyful event that is meant for everybody worldwide. A Savior has just been born in David's town. A Savior who is Messiah and Master. This is what you are to look for, a baby wrapped in a blanket, lying in a manger. At once the angel was joined by a huge angelic choir singing God's praises. Glory to God in the heavenly heights. Peace to all people on earth. Now H is for the letter hope. And now we are going to light the advent candle of hope. Hope is knowing that good news is coming even when things look bad. And Jesus is the source of our hope. I is for imagine. So let's all just close our eyes for a minute and use our imagination. We can see the beauty and the wonder of the angels proclaiming good news to all people. We can see the shepherds and understand why they were at first scared, but then overcome with joy as they hear the good news. So just imagine in your mind what it would be like to be one of those shepherds and to have angels come and tell you this good news. All right, you can open your eyes. If we try even harder, we can imagine a world where God's peace reigns, where there is no war or hunger. And if we can imagine it, we can do it with God's help. Our next letter is J, which is for joy. And so we're going to light the Advent candle of joy, which is the pink one. And joy is a kind of happiness that comes from God. It cannot be dampened and is always shared. And the birth of Jesus gives us joy. I'm going to make everybody stand up for a minute. Have you ever heard the phrase, jumping for joy? All right, so we're going to get some exercise in this morning. All right, so we're really excited about Christmas and about baby Jesus. We're going to jump for joy. (laughs) All right, you can sit back down. The letter K is for king. Though Jesus would be king, he was not the kind of king people were used to. Most kings are born in palaces surrounded by servants. But he was born in a stable, surrounded by shepherds and animals. Who has the animals? (laughs) Most kings rule with power and fear. Jesus rules with mercy and love. So that brings us to our next letter and our next candle. L is for love. So we're going to light the Advent candle of love. Jesus told us everything we need to know about what it means to follow him. When he told us that we are supposed to love God with all of our heart, soul, and mind. And to love your neighbor as yourself. When we remember love, we're supposed to love God and love others as we love ourselves. 
So let's think about love. Can you make a heart shape with your hand? There we go. So that's how we can remember love. And then we come to the letter M. And M is for manger. A manger is usually used to hold food for animals. Who has all the animals? There we go. <laughs> but on this special night, it held the baby because he had no cot to sleep in. And now we're going to sing our next carol, which is Away in a Manger. in our story. That's what happens every year at Christmas time. And that is what happens when we decide to follow Jesus. He is born anew in our hearts. O is for offering. And so here we have the wise ones. Does anyone have the wise ones, the wise men? Oh, there we go, holding their gifts. <laughs> the wise ones gave gifts to the baby. And we can offer our gifts every day. We give our time, our talents, our treasure to God and pray that as a church, we take good care of all that is given to us. Now P is for peace. And so now we're going to light our fourth Advent candle, the candle of peace. Jesus is the Prince of Peace and is the source of the kind of peace that surpasses all understanding. Then we have the letter Q, and Q is for quiet. And sometimes when we are really quiet, we can pray, which means that we talk to God. And when we are even more quiet, we can listen for God talking to us. And another word for quiet is silent. So let's sing together about that.
we come to the letter R. R is for revealed. Revealed means showing something that was once hidden. God revealed to us what love looks like by giving us Jesus. Jesus is love and reveals to us the way to love one another. S is for star. One special star guided the wise ones. We have wise ones? <laughs> One special star guided the wise ones to come see the baby. They were mysterious and they lived far away, but they brought gifts to Jesus because they knew that he would grow up to be a king. So let's hear this part of the story from the Gospel of Matthew according to the message. Instructed by the king, they set off. Then the star appeared again, the same star they had seen in the eastern skies. It led them on until it hovered over the place of the child. They could hardly contain themselves. They were in the right place. They had arrived at the right time. They entered the house and saw the child in the arms of Mary, his mother. Overcome, they kneeled and worshipped him. They opened their luggage and presented gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. The letter T is for trust. We can trust in God and know that God will always love us, no matter what. U is for unity. There was unity, which means togetherness amongst all the different people brought together this night to celebrate Jesus. So can we see all the people that gathered to celebrate with Jesus? Yeah, we have Mary and Joseph, we have the shepherds, we have the wise ones, and we have all the animals. And I think there were some angels there too. (laughs) The letter V is for vulnerable. Vulnerable means able to be hurt. Every baby is vulnerable, right? Babies really need to be taken care of. But we also make ourselves vulnerable when we love one another. God became vulnerable when Jesus was born. And we are called to risk being vulnerable so that we can love our neighbors. W is for wonder. Like the wise ones, we stand in awe and wonder of the newborn king. Now, X, X, believe it or not, stands for Christ. X is also the Greek letter chi, which makes up the first letter in the words Christ. And the X is one of the most ancient symbols of Christianity. People have been using the letter X to stand for Christ for centuries. Can you make an X with your hands? can mean Christ. And so now I'm going to invite Roger to come up and light our last candle, which is the Christ candle. And this symbolizes the coming of light into the world when Jesus is born. And now we're going to have a really fun song, The Cowboy Carol. <laughs> So if you have musical instruments, I think now's really the time to join in on this one. Yeah, it's another one with lots of participation. Yeah. <laughs> we, we need some yee-hawing. And there's a really important phrase that comes at the end of um, several lines, which is plinker, plinker, plank, plomp. Which, uh, which, is a, the, which is kind of the sound that I'm going to be making on the back of the banjo. Plinker, plinker, plank, plomp. <laughs> so if you don't know this one, you will do fairly short. <laughs> Tonight, I'm across the prairie, clear across. 
A new world beginning from tonight. There'll be a new world beginning from tonight. When I climb up to my saddle, gonna take him to my heart. There'll be a new world beginning from tonight. We're gonna ride Jekyll. Up to my saddle, gonna take him to my heart. New world beginning from tonight. Yay, yippee, we're gonna ride the track. Yay, yippee, we're gonna ride today. When I climb up to my saddle, gonna take him to my end of the alphabet. So why is for you? Because you are here to worship and celebrate the birth of Jesus. And Z, Z is for zeal. Oh, Zed. <laughs> that's right, you got me. <laughs> All right, that's hard for me to say. <laughs> Zed is for zeal. <laughs> Zeal is the passion or excitement with which we celebrate God's love today. So let's celebrate. Can we all celebrate? Maybe use your instruments. Woo! <laughs> we are going to celebrate the birth of Christ today and tomorrow and hopefully every day. So there you go. That is the ABCs of Christmas. And now we're going to share the results of our Christmas treasure hunt. Um, if you didn't know, uh, throughout the month of December, we have had uh, knitted nativity figures. So we have them here tonight. But there's a second set that has been hidden throughout town um, in various shops. And so we had um, treasure hunts that people could go and look for them and find which shop each of them was in. So we have uh, three winners. We have one grand prize winner and two runners-up. Um, and... I don't think any of them are here today, so we will contact them. Shall we go with that? <laughs> oh. oh, Amanda and Marie are here. <laughs> Oh, well, all right. They came in fourth, and they'll get a prize. So, yay. <laughs> and then we had one person who got all of them correct, um, so we will contact her and give her her prize. And two people who had 14 out of the 15 correct. So. And if you haven't seen them or found them, you could still go wander through town today and, and spot them. All right. Well, then we're going to close with our final song, which is Ding Dong, The Celebration Started. So, again, you can celebrate with your musical instrument.
for our closing prayer, I invite you to repeat after me as we pray. So thank you, God, for your son, Jesus, born to us at Christmas. Help us to love others as Jesus loves us. As Jesus loves us. Amen. Amen. Now go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Amen. Amen. Sweet singing all in the choir, sweet singing all in the 